Hello, everybody! Hello and welcome everyone! So glad to have you here. If you didn't know, I'm Linda Israel and we are live. It is Thursday, June the 25th, 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hey, if y'all are joining me today, say hi in the chat. And if you could please share this video so others can come and hang out with us and have fun and hopefully laugh and maybe learn a little bit of something. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Put them in all caps so I can see them. Sometimes it goes by pretty quick if the chat is busy, so please ask again if I don't see it. Sometimes Robin will ask, and if you know the answer to someone's question, please feel free to answer their question. Speaking of Robin, Robin is one of my administrators for the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and she has become my right-hand woman while I am on the YouTube Lives, as well as she helps with my blog and she's just an amazing friend that I haven't got to meet in person yet but we're hoping really soon to do that she'll be taking notes throughout the live stream about who is the winner today if you receive a coupon code etc if you have a question regarding an order please go to my website lindaisrael.com and ask using the contact form that way I have your email address and we can converse back and forth and not over a public forum if you will what else um you know what you are junk bucks just for being here and junk bucks is a virtual currency that I created so that I can reward you if you will for watching me during my live streams you can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks exclamation point bucks and then once you get to 2,000 of those you can type exclamation point award I think I owe somebody a coupon code and I forgot to uh, <clears throat> look sorry <laughs> I've been busy this week um, what else? You earn junk bucks just by being here. You'll see some in chat games. It's just something to entertain you. You could win nothing. You could win a couple, you know, 100 plus junk bucks. Right now, I do have a raffle that you can type exclamation point raffle and you could win 200 junk bucks, which will help you get on your way to that $10 off coupon. What else? Um, if you make a donation during the live stream, you can also be set up on my website as a member of my YouTube donators membership, which allows you to get free digital downloads as well as a discount on orders from my shop. And I made this gel print last week. I was going to get the original. It's in here somewhere. All right, so here's the original. I scanned this into my computer and adjusted it just a little bit. It looks pretty close to the original and made this a digital download. You get this one as well as this one, which is the bottom. I got to get it over here so I'll have it handy of a spool for thread for embroidery thread and then this one is using the flower tile stencil so those are available right now in my shop if you are a donator you're already in the membership you'll see those for free right now if you haven't uh, <clears throat> created a user account on my website and you've made a donation please do so and then send me a message to the contact me form this is hey Linda I am so and so on YouTube especially if your name is different than your given name that you create on my website and I'll get you added and then you'll be able to download all those freebies that I have I wanted to show you a download that I made let's see where is it I'm trying to get it all situated here Ah, here we go so I made this gel print and it's just the Scotty dogs with the more little daisies and then I made this gel print using the paw prints stencil and because this area was white I was able to layer this on top of this digitally and this is what I came up with and so you get all three of those as a digital download that you can then play with and use for your projects. Um, what else? <clears throat> I just kind of was flipping through all these gel prints. I'll be making more digital downloads. It does take me a little bit of time. And I've had a headache most of this week. So I'm a little behind on some things. So please forgive me for not getting those up sooner. I want to move these so I don't get additional paint on them. I do have uh, a couple of journals. One of these is from, is this one from Kathy or is this one from, oh, thank you so much, Jeanette, for your donation. I believe this one is from uh, Cynthia Dossett. She made this uh, little journal and I've got this wedding themed journal. I have a couple of traveler's notebooks that we'll give away at the end if we get enough donations to give them away. And I'll have some other prizes throughout. 
<clears throat> so let's see. How is everybody? Y'all doing good? Hope you're well. Hey, uh, Sally and Connie and Kim. Hey, and Kristen and Robin, of course, and Giovanna and Sam. So glad to have you. Hey, Jennifer and Jeanette. Thank you so much for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. All right. So we're going to do some gel printing today. I've got a 12 by 12 gel plate. You know, you can do gel printing on different sizes of gel plates. I've kind of started with the, I think it was a five by five. And then I got a six by six because that's what my local store carried. And then a little bit later, I got a five by seven and then Carrie is one of the admins for the friendly junk journal people Facebook group and she knew that I wanted the eight by ten and it was affordable so she gifted that to me so I have the eight by ten and then one day I was in Hobby Lobby talking to one of my friends who works there and she said they have the 12 by 12s here so I splurged just around Christmas time and bought the 12 by 12. I do have a link in the description box below where you can get these on Amazon and I think it's actually cheaper on Amazon for this 12 by 12. You know, it used to when it first came out it was like $45, $50 for this 12 by 12 and now it's down to about $29, maybe $30. So it's, it's a good price. By the way, if I mention something, uh, I either offer it in my shop, you'll see it across the bottom, lindaisrael.com, or I have a link to Amazon, and I greatly appreciate if you're going to buy anyway, if you click on my link and purchase, because on Amazon, I do get a little bit of a commission. It's not a lot, but, you know, every little bit helps, so I appreciate your um, <clears throat> your support. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you don't have a lot of buffering. I saw Kim say something about it. Um, I rebooted all my system today and it looked like it tested good. So hopefully we'll have a good stream today. Thank you, Janice. Yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, dumb pillow. <laughs> Mine's been my allergies. I, I don't know if you heard me clear my throat, so I apologize for doing that. I tried to blow my nose really good before we started and I took some allergy medicine. <laughs> So hopefully it won't be too bad. So gel printing, you know, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can just slather paint on here and then lift it up. You can use stencils. You can use objects to make patterns in there. So let's do a couple of things here. I think what I'm going to start with, let's just put some paint down and we're going to use things like bubble wrap. We may use a rubber stamp, maybe even use these spools of thread to see what kind of patterning we can get. You don't need a lot of paint. You will want a soft rubber brayer when you go to smooth the paint out. You don't want to use anything sharp on your gel plate because it will damage it. You'll dig into it. It'll scar it. So you want to keep things soft on here. All right, I've got um, I've got a little bit of this hyacinth. It's a it's a pale lavenderish color of purple. So I'm just going to put a couple of little dots. I don't want a lot of paint, again, because I'm just going to make kind of a little mixed background. This one's called Vivid Pink. I want to make sure I shake my pink my paint up. You're doing okay to make it through all that's going on? I know there's a lot of crazy stuff, you know, and that's why I like to get here and hang out with y'all. Yeah, I know there's a lot of crazy stuff in the world right now with COVID and race and uh just all kinds of stuff going on, but I want to come here and let it be a positive light. Let's be fun and helpful and share with everybody, you know, happiness and joy. We get enough of the disgruntled, unhappy people on other social medias. So let's go ahead and just have a little bit of fun here. So this is going to be kind of a pastel background. I think I use citrus. I use a light turquoise. I used hyacinth. So I think those would be some in the vivid pink. So I'm just kind of blending this out a little bit. You want to be somewhat quick. And if you brayer it too much, it will turn muddy. So we don't want to do a lot of brayering on it. Just do a little bit. I'm going to clean off my brayer on a scrap piece of paper over here, and then I'm going to grab some things. I've got uh, the spool, so I'm just going to kind of go random all over. <clears throat> I've got another spool. And let's see what else we have in here. I've got, oh, I've got some smaller ones, so... 
this will be a cool background, don't you think? <clears throat> Pardon me. What else? Let's see. And I've got, oh, I've got this smaller one. This is a lid. So I'm just going to kind of go in here and basically what we're doing is we're removing paint. <clears throat> I think this will be a fun background. You want to be careful and not gouge your gel plate. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to put all my tools back in my little container. We're going to let this dry for just a moment. The paint will be kind of shiny if it's still wet, if you're using a craft paint. If you're using a heavy body paint, it may take a little bit longer. It'll be harder to kind of tell if it's dry yet because it'll still have somewhat of a sheen to it. And I'm going to like this. It'll be a very muted pastel background. I'm going to let that dry for a moment. And let's think about what color I want to put behind there. I think I'm going to go with Island Blue once this is ready. And that'll make all those circles pop with a blue color. <clears throat> You've been using your embossing folders? Oh, awesome, Kim, for texture. Awesome. You love the pink? Yeah, your allergies been affecting you too, Sally? Oh, yeah, they press on these uh, pressure points in there. Yeah, that's no fun. That's no fun. Thanks, Sam. You like it? You may be interrupted, Sam. Are you getting, are people bugging you while you're trying to do a live stream with me? <laughs> <clears throat> How's everybody, uh, this week going? You having a good week? What have y'all been doing? Anything particular that you've been working on? I have been working on some pages. I can show y'all one that I made. So yesterday I took a, well, probably about an hour and played around. So this is a Bible page in the background and I stenciled on top of it using the little daisy stencil. I made a pocket up here out of a scrap of cardstock that I had cut off for something else. And this is an element from, I think this is the All About Robins kit. And then here is a card from the Dragonfly Delight. And then down here, I have this postcard in the background. That's one of Norella's digital downloads. And then she has these botanicals that are square sizes. So I just layered one on top. And I thought that would make a cute little tuck spot right there, which is pretty big. So if you had a bigger card, you could fit it in there. Down here on the bottom is scrapbook paper that I folded in half. So I took a six, 12 by 12 and cut a 6 by 11 inch piece then folded that in half and that made a natural pocket and then here is another piece of cardstock scrapbook paper and I just liked it because it was two-sided already and I used these words by Norella and stuck that on there on this side I had a mop-up actually this is a spray through page where I used the little daisies I stamped around the outside edge with the shabby stitches I used the flowering branch up here this is another one of Norella's digital downloads and I can't remember I think that might be from grandma's garden down here I happen to have these scrapbook border stickers I've had them for a long time and they're 12 inches long so I just cut it apart and stuck it down there has a little bit of glitter on there. I don't know if y'all can see the glitter. It may not be showing up. Then I had some eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I cut it into four pieces and stamped with the beach rose medium, not the small, but the medium, I think. It may, it may be large, but beach rose. You want the bigger one for this one. And then again, another word from Norella. <clears throat> And then on this side, I just kind of repeated the same concept. I just used different images, different words, different scraps that I happen to have. And that's a journal page. And I think, yeah, I didn't, this one I didn't make a pocket in. So I thought I'd show that real quick. Moving mud. Yeah, Kim, you've been working on your property, haven't you? you you've brought in a bunch of uh, dirt. All right, so this should be dry enough that I'll be able to put down the teal. Oh, cool. So Robin's been working on a patriotic journal, just working on the journal cards and tags. Awesome. Aren't the stickers cool, Sam? Yeah, it's one of those purchases I made because they were on clearance and I liked the images. So I went ahead and bought them. And then 
for some reason they got stuck in the back of my stash and I hadn't been using them so I moved them into a little basket that I have a bunch of ephemera that I've cut up from Calico Collage and that way when I need one I've got one alright so I'm putting a very thin coat of paint and the reason being is that will allow those first layers of paint to lift when we put our paper down thus giving us our gel print. I'm just going to put it close to the top up here and press that down. I've got a, another piece of paper that I'm going to put down here on the bottom and just basically use some scraps of paper to fill in and lift up any paint that's left on my gel plate. You want to rub it smoothly and gently to pick up all that paint. <clears throat> You're doing a Goonie Bird journal for an order? Awesome! I hope it's going to be fun for you. I hope you enjoy making it. I saw that Norella has come out with a new digital download that's got um, cockatiels, I think. In it, some birds. Sam, you're trying to use up your stuff. Me too. I got to use it. Yeah, it's never ending. I I agree, Sam. That's our uh, Kim. When you're working in your yard, it never ends. There's always something to do. I'm looking forward to the fall. I plan to move a bunch of irises, and I think I'm going to use move my uh, cannas that I have they're not getting enough sun where they are now so they're really not as pretty and showy as they should be <clears throat> you think you'll do a red white and blue one uh, next to save for next year Sally well cool well Monday I'll be doing a patriotic I like the way this gel print just by getting the strips uh, patriotic on Monday I'll be using the Americana uh, digital downloads that Norella offers in her shop as well as the gel prints that I made last year on 4th of July all right this is looking good It could have been a little brighter. I could have waited a little bit longer to mix the paint so they didn't blend so much, but I like the, the subtlety of it. You see the background there? So you got the circles. When I scan this into my computer, I'll be able to kind of bring this color up a little bit, and it'll be kind of fun. Awesome, Sam. I hope so. You have to clean organize and use your pretty supply Sally will get in there and start doing it yeah make room and have less to deal with in a small room I agree with that it, it can get a little overwhelming <clears throat> what's up Hercules what are you doing you want to come say hi come here no okay he just wanted to come make a snorty noise at snorty noise at me let's uh let's play with a stencil now I've got this is the open, oh no, Moroccan lattice stencil. What else do I want to do? So that will leave an opening on those patterns. And I think I want the diamond stencil. I'm going to do a couple of things here. Okay. So I'm going to start with this. Moroccan lattice. I'm going to kind of lay it up at the top here. <clears throat> and what color is there me or is there a search area in your store? It should be right at the bottom unless something's happened. I did have an update. It's at the bottom. It's right at the bottom. It was there. It's there now. Go to the main page <laughs> and scroll down. Go here and scroll down. All right, let's go here. <clears throat> the stars from last year. Oh, yeah, the stars are a good one, too. All right, so I think these are going to be solid. 
So let's do this teal. I'm going to put a little bit in a couple of spots and then I'm going to move my stencil. All right, so I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to move it down a little bit. I'm going to do it again. So I'm just making some random patterns on my gel plate. And I'm going to take my diamond stencil and let's kind of layer it. I think this one up here is a little bit thinner so I can overlap it just a little bit. I'm going to pick a different color. Let's do this green. <clears throat> so I'm going to clean my brayer off. I'm going to grab this green. And then we'll kind of go, let's go right about here. I don't want to go all the way down because I don't want it to pick up paint. And then we'll go right in here. And let's go right here. I need a little bit more paint. Just trying to put little dots. And maybe right here. It's just kind of making randomness all over. Angelica, welcome! So glad to have you here. Oh, at the right top. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, there's a, yeah, because when you are administrator, Robin, logged in, you see it at the top right. When you're not logged in as administrator, then you'll see it at the bottom. That's why. Okay, so I'm letting this dry for just a moment because I plan to put, I think, one more, maybe one more pattern. Let that dry for a moment. Let's see what other stencil I can use. I think this one, this is from one of the stencil clubs from last year, maybe. And I think we need a pink. And then we'll be able to print the whole thing in a moment. Thank you, Crafty Blind Girl, for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad to be here. I know, Robin. <laughs> Giovanna. <laughs> All right. So this is almost dry in a couple of spots. This area is kind of dry. So I think I'm going to lay this stencil right about, oh, let's do it this way because then I can get more spots. And we're going to put down kind of a pink color. <clears throat> It'll be an interesting pattern, I think. Let's go right about here. Maybe one right here. There's enough, just enough paint still on the stencil to transfer. Okay, I think we're good now. I'm going to let this dry for a moment and then we will print it. I'll put, I think, maybe this light blue as the lift paint. Just been a weird day in general, Robin. Well, you came here to make it perfect, right? <laughs> Thank 
Thank you, Kim, for your donation. Thank you, Jeanette, for your donation as well. I greatly appreciate it. All right, what else? Um, I made some other gel prints. Let's see, what else did I do here? <clears throat> Here's using a gel print as my page foundation. So this is a real colorful, use some gold metallic in there. And then this was a gel print where I was cleaning off my gel plate and I just cut it into like a one inch strip, uh, eight and a half inches long. And then I used these calico collage images on top. And I think this one's up. Oh, I guess it was the whole thing's upside down. I was like, why does this look upside down? I don't want to lay it down on my gel plate and get it dirty. So I had it upside down, but there's the images. And on this side, <laughs> thank you so much, Sue, for your donation. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, on this side, it's going to be really interesting. You think so, Kim? Uh, this was stenciling on the back side of the gel print using the triangular flowers, I think is what I called it. And this is one of my um, flowers that I took from my garden of some zinnias. And then I sent those photos to Norella and she turned them into some journal cards. That's a digital download. This was kind of cleaning up my gel plate on a piece of book page. And I just like the patterns that it got. And then this is from Norella. It's some of her mason jars. If you go to her website and just type mason jar, you'll see a whole slew of images that she has for sale. <clears throat> I'm getting a... This is my Ziploc bag. Oh, almost dropped it. My Ziploc bag of pages that I've made trying to collect enough up to make an eclectic journal. Did y'all see L Monday's live stream? Love to know your feedback of what you thought about Monday. I'm going to go ahead. It may still be a little damp, so we'll get a little bit of a smear, if you will, because some of the paint is pretty thick, but I want to go ahead and print this. If you want it to be really crisp, let these layers of paint dry before you put down that final paint to lift. We're going to get kind of a muted uh, background, I think. Ah, chill printing. All righty, we're getting there a little out of time. Let me use this one and pick up some of this paint. And then here's one that I've just been going over and over and over, and it'll be just a cool page to use for a journal page or to use for making journal cards. You loved me making a complex page with many techniques. You thought that was cool. Thank you, Crafty Blind Girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Robin says, Monday's live was awesome. Well, thank you. <clears throat> journal Joy, thank you so much for your donation. And Angelica, thank you for your donation as well. Hugs and kisses. Got, got to convert twice to Euro. <laughs> You're being mean to Robin now. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh, I like how this is coming up with that. Thank you so much. You confused Robin. <laughs> Yay! So, so glad to have you here, Joy. Thank you so much. All right, somebody's gonna have to interpret for me. I can't. I don't have a uh, interpreter. <laughs> Here's part of that gel print. Isn't that kind of cool? The way the elements are in there, it's mixed up. All right, you ready for the big reveal? Oh, 
Oh, I like it. So cool. All right, what do you think? Isn't that a fun background? I like it. That'll look really good when I scan it in. And then I'll cut it up and make some stuff out of it. Sona Contenta Verti. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right, it's time for the raffle. If you would, please join the raffle. Type in exclamation point raffle. I'm going to get a drink. I want to do something different today. Okay, first I'm going to... No, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make... A gel print with this butterfly stencil this is the repeating butterflies I'm not going to fill in the background I'm only going to do inside here so what I'll do what color do I want I think I like this darker teal so put a little bit of that I really like how this green comes out when mixed with that teal so I'm going to come in here and just All right, so now I've got this with some cool color. I'm going to leave my stencil in place, and then I'm going to come back in with some bubble wrap. And I'm removing paint by using the bubble wrap like this. I'm going to leave the stencil in place because I want to put down another layer of paint, but I only want the butterflies to print. I don't want the background to show up as a different color. So basically, it should just be the butterflies on a gel print page. Is that all we're going to get on there? Hey, Nicole. Welcome. So glad to have you here. Hey, Sherry. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. Here, I'll show y'all again while we're waiting on that. All right, y'all go ahead and enter the raffle if you haven't already. Hey, Vienna. Welcome. So that was the last page I just made. I like how that's turned out. It'll be a good writing page. You can write on top of that. Be a little bit obscure, but it also make just a good foundation to layer other elements on top. Polka dot butterflies. You got it, Angelica. All right, let's do the raffle. Okay. Oh, yay, Sherry. I'm glad you got it. Thank you. You're very welcome. I forgot. I, I told you about the Scotty dog. And Sherry, did you see... The um, did you see that I have this one up there too now from last week? It's up there too. I think I put collaged butterfly. All right, let's do the raffle. This is about ready. Yeah, that's almost ready. Giveaway. All right, the winner of 200 junk bugs is. Vienna Crisp. Congratulations. I will add your junk bucks to your account at the end of the live stream, but that gives you a little bit to go towards your coupon code. All right, I'm going to reset this and we're going to do black butterfly cards. All right. These are some cards that I made a few weeks ago. We were doing some gold embossing, and I took black cardstock and did gold embossing. We used some of Robin's most favorite material ever, cheesecloth sprayed with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. This is a gel print that I did a whole page, just one color, and then I stamped around the edges. This is a punched out shape and then a book page and then a calico collage image here. And then I also made 
these journal cards as well. Butterfly! And then I made this little tuck spot so you could put a card behind it if you so choose. Kind of like what I did where I had the pocket at the bottom and then I moved this up in the upper quadrant so you could put something behind it. So that'd be a good use of that. Oh, the flutters! <laughs> Sam says hummingbird. Is that You want me to do the hummingbird next? <laughs> All right, so I did this so that I can get some really nice butterfly shapes. I'm going to come back with twilight blue, a darker blue, to fill in those uh, bubble wrap spots. All right, y'all enter the raffle. You love those cards? Thank you, Giovanna. Robin says, blah. <laughs> Not to the cards, for the cheesecloth. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, that was a, a couple of weeks ago. and I happened to have the pile over here when I was digging around for prizes. And I thought, I will give those away today. All right, so I'm going to lift the stencil. And again, we only have... The butterflies. I'm going to throw that in, into my pan of water over to the size, side to help remove the paint. I'm going to try to quickly go get a piece of paper here and we're going to print these butterflies. I use my scrap of paper to clean up. I did this because I want to do the same thing that I did with the Scotty Dog download. Because I can scan these into my computer and then I can layer them onto a different background. I may even just kind of pick one or two and kind of collage them all over. You love the butterfly cars for sure. <laughs> yes, hummingbirds, dragonflies, and butterflies, happiness and peace. <laughs> you love the gold and black, Kristen? Thank you. Thank you, Crafty Blind Girl. Flutters are the best. Those are your favorite. <laughs> All right. We're getting some crusty bits here and there. Uh, let me find my hummingbird. Whoa, I almost had a craft catastrophe. Hi, Hercules. He's down here at my feet. So this is my file folder of all of my stencils. And it's getting really full. I'm about to graduate to a second one. <laughs> Always the fodders for you. All right. Somebody said hummingbird. So I'm looking for the hummingbird stencil. Oh, here's the star stencil. Oh, here it is. This is my feeding frenzy stencil. I pair it with the hummingbird stencil. So let's play with those. Hercules! He's at my feet. He doesn't want to be up here. What are you doing, buddy? Okay. We may not use the stars right now, but we may. I'm going to set that over there. And we're going to put down the hummingbirds first. Because we want those in the foreground on our gel plate to print. And I think I have some metallic paint. I have a little bit of this uh, metallic blue topaz. I think that's what we we'll use. I'm going to dig. Do I have any more? Got a couple of more metallics. I think that'll work. Okay. 
So I've got uh, Sapphire and Amethyst as well. So I've got two different brands, but that's okay. You have this stencil. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of the purple in a couple of spots. I'm going to get my smaller brayer. All right, and then we're going to put a different color down. I think I have enough paint that I'm not even going to use the teal. I'm just going to come back in and brayer the whole thing. I'll lift the stencil and we'll let this paint dry. You're not a flamingo fan, but you have one. Oh, cool. Hey, from Israel. Shalom. Welcome. My name is Israel. <laughs> I'd love to visit Israel someday. Thank you for coming in. Oh, you don't have the angelic, the, the hummingbirds angelic. I thought you did. You don't have it? Okay, well, put that in your note for your next um, uh, design team. And Angelica is a another admin of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that, please do. And then she's recently become a design team member for me. So she's been using my digital kits that Norella helps me with. She has my stencil. She has some rubber stamps and we need to work on her next um, order so she can play and show y'all some cool things. So yes, get your gel plate, Angelica. You like the colors? Thank you. I, you know, I love the metallics. It makes it a real neat shimmer to it. So it'll take it just a moment to dry and then we'll come back in with the feeding frenzy stencil I think hmm I may want a bigger pattern I was gonna use feeding frenzy but I think now I think I want to use um, the open lattice because I'm going to need two more layers of paint yep that's what I'm gonna need Thank you, Sam. I'm reading the chat. Your dogs are at your feet all the time and follow you from room to room. Mine do too, Janice. It's funny because um, Hercules will follow me outside and I've got lawn, you know, furniture out there, or outdoor furniture, and he'll go find a spot and sit down. And I usually walk around my yard and he'll watch me with his eyes. And if I get out of view for too long, he'll get up and he'll come look for me. <laughs> Y'all get into the raffle. You like the hummingbird stencil, Kristen? I try to make it really simple and easy to use. All right, so I'm going to test my, the paint seems dry. So I'm going to lay the open lattice behind here. And I think we'll use, we're going to use this sky blue, kind of a morning blue. And then where the lattice is, Maybe we'll get out, let's get out some silver. Yeah, I think silver would look really good in the opening, or the, the line of the stencil design. Okay. I think I said this earlier, I have a pan that I have over to the side that has some water in it. A little bit of Thieves Cleaner in the water 
kind of helps the paint release from the stencil, especially when you're gel printing, you can get a big buildup of paint on there and you may want to get that off there. You need that stencil too, Crafty Blind Girl? <laughs> your, your dog's on your feet. Well, she has to be right there with you all the time because she loves you. Um, let's see. Um, we have swaps in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Did y'all know that? Did you know that you can join the swap? They usually start like the end of the month, like the last day or the first of the month through the 15th is when you can sign up. And then you make your items, of course, and get them mailed out by the end of the month and go all over the place. You know, I do not have a peace sign stencil, Kim. That might be something for me to work on because because this peace sign has the innards, I would have to make sure that I either have breaks in it or make it a connector, kind of like I did with this stencil. So that may be something to play with. Robin, if you could put, put on their peace sign stencil. Okay. So, I think, well, it's not quite dry yet. What else can I talk about while I'm waiting on that? And then our next gel prints, we'll just kind of do one layer at a time, I think. Um, oh, man, I'm trying to think of stuff. <laughs> Better late than never, Valerie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, y'all, um, if you have a YouTube channel like Angelica does... Please speak up in the chat and say, I have a YouTube. And then y'all um, follow each other. Of course, give each other some encouragement. Already done, Missy, Robin says. She takes care of me. She's on it. She is on it. She is on it. She's on fire. <laughs> I have added a few new rubber stamps. I talked about those on Monday. Um, kind of more of the steampunk side. I've got to spend some time probably tomorrow and maybe Sunday. Saturday I have a live in-person workshop here in Yukon. Boss! The other way around. <laughs> Thumbs up all. Does that mean you go like this? Because you're texting with your fingers, you know, texting with your fingers, thumbs up. <laughs> Man, this is not drying yet. Come on, dry. Dry for me, please. Dry. It's getting there. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I think I'm going to like it. Do you see the hummingbirds in there? Huh. Yeah, you won 70 jump bucks, Jennifer. Good job. Let's see, I've got, I think after, do you want me to do one more gel print? And then we'll use some of these and make something. What do you think? Let me know. These I will scan. I'll take that one and scan it into my computer. As well as that one. I like how this one turned out. And of course this one. That'll be fun. Give them to Linda. Give me all the thumbs. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Crafty Blind Girl has a YouTube. She follows and uh, follows back and comments. All right. So I'm going to put down, this is a metallic silver paint. It's almost empty. And I'm, I'm basically using this paint to lift my gel print. It's also filling in where that blank space is that was made with my stencil. And I may need more paint. I may have it too thin. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get this. I'm kind of looking at my gel plate where the stencil was laid down to figure out where I need to uh, lay it down.
Oh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Make something, Sue says. You should like this one. I hope so. I hope you like it. Make something. Okay, let's see if this one comes out. Hopefully I had enough paint. Oh, yeah. I hope you like it. What do you think? You can see the metallic in those butter or those uh, hummingbirds, and then the silver in the background. I like it. Wow, that turned out pretty. The silver almost looks white. Isn't that fun? You're welcome, Jamie. Yeah. Y'all follow Jamie, too. You like it? Y'all enter the raffle. We're going to be drawing that here in just about, what, nine minutes, I think. Thank you, Joy, for your donation. Thank you, Joy. All right. You want me to make something? Um, you like it? Oh, thank you, Robin. You love it, Robin? Thank you, Sue. Giovanna love awesome yay I'm glad y'all love it you know I want to make uh, another kind of a metallic -y gel print so let's do this what can I use what can I use oh I like this this is a fun stencil all right, so we're just going to do two colors. Yeah. So I'm going to put this down, and then we're going to come back in with another color. Let's do this uh, teal. So all the circles will be a color. Does that make sense? Come on. I'm, a, I'm almost out of this paint, and I don't buy it very often because it costs a lot more than the other craft paint. All right, so I've got three different shades here of color. Oh, this should be good. And I think it's going to need maybe a gold background. This is this big, big circles, big and small. I think that's what I called it. You like the gel? Love the gel print? Thank you. Any metallic anything? Now you got to get metallic paints. Thank you. <laughs> Probably your next stencil order. <laughs> Looks like a hologram. Oh, yeah, I bet. It kind of does because it uh, flashes back and forth. Yeah, that can kind of give that hologram look. I'm tilting it because on my screen it washes out and I don't see the hummingbird. So I want to really have y'all see the full effect. So shivery. Yeah, metallic colors, not Metallica. <laughs> Metallica is okay, though. I have seen them in concert. <laughs> not my favorite band, but I have seen them. Uh, we got to see them for free. All right, so I'm kind of watching this. Because it's a metallic paint, it will appear to still be wet for much longer. So I kind of have to look at it to see if it's dry yet. And I think maybe we should do... Um, I think maybe the silver, or should we do gold behind that? I have a gold. Yeah, you can use different hummingbirds for journal cards. Exactly, exactly. 
Unicorn jo Journal walkthrough just went live, includes uh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I look forward to seeing that. Love it. Thank you. Is a, Linda is a heavy metal, <laughs> yes, heavy metal head rocker. You got it. <laughs> Uh, it it was it was a loud concert. Let me tell you, Metallic Paint wants to fool you on whether or not it's right. Exactly, gold. All right, we'll do gold. That's the first person who said so. We'll do gold. Yeah, Linda Israel is, is I like her eclectic journals. A little bit of everything. Exactly. You know, I like all kinds of music. I like country music. I like a little bit of jazz. I like classic rock. I like classical music, uh, pop. Just a little bit of everything. Heavy metal. Oh, we went to Molly Crew, not Metallica. We saw Metallica. I thought we saw Metallica. Weren't th they weren't with Cinderella? Who was with Cinderella? What's the other band? <laughs> we saw Cinderella, and then we saw Vince. Who's Vince with? Vince, Vince, uh, is it Vince Neal? What's that guy's name? Who's he with? <laughs> Henry was listening in the background, I guess. He's probably not going to be able to answer now. <laughs> All right, that's almost dry. What else can I tell y'all about? So we'll do something with the gel print. I'll get out some cardstock to cut. I think I'm going to use some more of this teal paper. Yeah, he corrects me. Thank you, Sherry, for your donation. <laughs> Heavy metal artist. Exactly. Hey, Jennifer, welcome. You went to ACDC, Jennifer? Oh, I bet that was awesome. Yeah, I don't listen to rap and opera is a little bit out there. He was the he was the singer for Crew. Okay, <laughs> it was a long time ago. I don't remember. I did get to see Axl Rose with Guns and Rosen at Roses. It wasn't the whole band. Oh dear. <laughs> Henry's lurking. Hey, Lori, welcome. I want to show. Uh, Lori, did you just get here? Who else just got here? Uh, Jennifer just got here. You don't do country? <laughs> I bet it was fun. I also got to see um, Ozzy Osbourne in concert. Along with uh, Rob Zombie. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Henry says. <laughs> Oh, your your neighbor does ACDC loud during his boxing lesson? Well, it would get you motivated to hit somebody. That's really a violent music. <laughs> yeah, he's a, she's a little bit country. He's a little bit rock and roll. You got it, Giovanna. All right. I'm going to push it. It may not be ready yet. I keep touching it. Stop touching it. Guns N' Roses knocking on Heaven's Door would be awesome to hear. Yeah. Aerosmith. Yeah, I've seen Aerosmith twice. I've seen Aerosmith twice in Oklahoma City. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see what we can get. I'm concentrating, y'all. <laughs> All right. Book page. We might use a book page. Do I have one? Nope. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> I've seen Imagine Dragons in concert. All right, it's time. Y'all get in on the raffle. Just kind of adding the little bit of that metallic on there. 
I don't worry about cleaning my gel plate off. When I'm done done, I just put it away. And uh, it wasn't enough paint. Darn it. So when you don't have enough paint, it doesn't lift everything. It dries too fast. But it's kind of cool still anyway. So there's that one. It's kind of flashing. Raffle. Yeah. That's it, Linda. Go, girl. Yeah, went to Imagine Dragons. And who else did we see? Bon Jovi and Daughtry. Fallout Boy. Plain White Tees. Too cute for something. Is it too cute for school? Your, your hubs is singing with me in the background. With <laughs> That's funny, Jennifer. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go. Welcome to the jungle. We got funny games. <laughs> we got everything you want. Huh. Just put, I just put it on my container and I just set it aside when I'm ready to use it again. We've got it. All right. You love that one? Good job. So these were the prints we made. I'll scan these in. So we won't use these today. But we'll scan those in. There's the hummingbird. And there's the spools. And this one. And this one. And then these were just from cleaning up. Some of these are from last week. I cleaned my gel plate off earlier. And I thought this would look really cool. Because it can be a multiple way. So I just put two different colors of paint. It's a purple. I got paint on my ring. A purple and a blue that I put on the gel plate. Then mopped it up. And if I smart, I can bring this in digitally. And then these will be on top of that background. It may be a little dark. And I could kind of edit that a little bit. But I made this one before we started. This is using the triangles to boxes. I think is what it's called. And you love that jelly print. Thank you. I'm singing. <laughs> yeah, I've been to a few concerts, Julie. Hey, Julie. What does it say now? I figured they would take some fiddling to get the peace signs legible, but also figured you would be the one out to do it. Yep, it'll take some work, but I think I can do it. Yeah, a lot of music, Sam. A lot of good music. And then here's another just a clean up. So I'll save these. We'll scan them in. 70s rock and country were best era in your opinion, Lori. I gotcha. Hey, thank you, Sam. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to move my paint back. Let's do the raffle. All right. So the winner of these little elements, the black butterfly journal cards and little tuck spot is are you ready the winner is angelica congratulations you won my little journal cards and the flutters congratulations all right so it's 1 30 what else do i have here oh why not i was going to use this as an example to make something Need some lotion. Yeah, hey Norella, welcome. Congratulations, Angelica. All right, so let's do this next giveaway. Yay! <laughs> Reset. Let's go here, and this is going to be a. We'll do it this way. Mixed media. All right. Open. Hello and hugs. So the next giveaway is this little mixed media folio that I made. I used an oversized postcard as the foundation. Then I used some gel prints and uh, mop-up papers of painted papers. These are some rubber stamped images that I scanned into my computer after I colored them with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I went ahead and put a little bit of some glitter paint. These are some of my words. I use the shabby stitches around the edges. And then this opens up. And inside you have little tags and cards. 
and my little triple pocket. So I just basically covered both sides with the gel prints until it was full. Then I took another piece of paper and folded it in that accordion style of the triple pockets that I've showed y'all before and made little pockets after I put some shabby stitches. This was mopping up some tattered angels off of one of the gel uh, off of the stencils. This is using the spiraling vine stamp and I had a little piece of paper that I folded and then just round the corner so you have a little foldy. And then this is just an artist trading card almost size. And then these were some scraps that I had and then it just repeats on this side. They're the same. This is a little folded piece. I guess I had two folded, one on this side, one extra. So that's our next giveaway. Yeah, I have a video for those cards to show you how I made those, the butterfly cards. Thank you, Norella. Thank you so much. All right, y'all enter the raffle. Put that up here. Stay. Move this over there. All right, so let's make something with this guy. I have the gel print and the copy. And why not use these to go with since I paired them together? Oh, and Norella, you didn't see it. I did something digital. <laughs> I scanned this in, then I scanned this guy in and made sure that the back was transparent. And then I was able to digitally pop. This little Scotty dogs on top of my background. What do you think? I thought it turned out pretty cute. I'm learning. Oh, thank you, Angelica. You've got your coupon code coming to you. Well, now you'll have a reason to order, right? You've got a prize coming. You've got to get some stencils for a design team. All right. So, let's see. I think I'm going to use this as my foundation to make a journal page okay so since we've got that page I need to put something on the back side and I'm okay that we're not going to necessarily use junk on this because this is a mixed media day I think what I'm going to do is just stencil on the background and to kind of tie it together do we want to use one of the stencils that we've used before or should we just put a whole different stencil on the back I've got the flower tile stencil we could put that on the back side in a different color I do have the spirals what else oh I've got the circles maybe we'll do this one and we'll do some blending. Okay. I'm going to spray this with Tattered Angels. And we've got teal and we've got pink. So maybe... Maybe from the... Got blue skies and out to sea. So I've got a couple of shades of blue. So we'll mix these together. I don't want it super dark. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so sweet. And I'll take another piece of paper and mop up. Okay. while I've got this here, I'll go ahead and come back with the same colors that we used earlier. And that way both sides are colored. And I could use this as a journal page. I could make a little note out of it that looks like a folded letter. I may do that today. Why not? So we've got kind of a pretty little background. And then that's what it made on there. So we've got this on this side and that on this side. And I think we need some little coloring around the edges. And 
and maybe even some stamping. What do I want for some stamping? Okay. I'm going to get a scrap of paper here. And I'm going to use the salty ocean and go around the edge a little bit. Just kind of making that a, a more distressed looking edge. Okay, you can see how I just kind of added a little bit of distressing around the edges there. And I think we'll do the, I've got the flowering branch, so we're going to do that on here. My goal right now is just to kind of decorate the foundation portion of this. And then we'll come back and put some pockets on this side maybe on the other side as well we'll um we'll make some journal cards to go with okay i think we need some butterflies stamped on here too don't you all right i get this okay I got a couple of butterflies here. Let's see which one we like. I think I like this one. So we'll kind of put a couple of butterflies. Since we have butterflies on this side, we're putting them on this side. Why not uh, the word journal? right here and I think we need a saying let's see here there we go if there was never change I think is one of those sayings we would never have butterflies so try to get that in the center and we'll put it right here if nothing ever changed there would be no butterflies so here's our page so far that we're putting together okay gel print on this side we've done some stamping on this side okay so now I've got these pieces of cardstock and I want to make some pockets to go on here. So I'm going to cut these. I want a couple of pockets. So we're going to cut this to five and a quarter this way. And I know that this is eight and a half wide. And I think I want probably maybe some two and a half inch strips. So this could be a pocket across there, or it could be up higher. I'm going to do it one more time. Two and a half. And then I've got a three and a half inch piece, so that would be one and three quarters of an inch. Is that right? I think so. I don't know if we'll use them, but we'll have them. Okay. While I've got this here, I don't want to use this on the front, but maybe we could put this other shade of blue on this little pocket right here. What do you think? And make it really eclectic. 
Oh, she may not be feeling well. I hope she feels better, though. Your brothers are always messing with you. <laughs> When you were young, you were afraid of dragonflies. Your brothers told me they sewed your lips shut and I would run. Oh, how kind of funny. One of my friends, um, one of my friends, no, it's one of Henry's cousins thought if a June bug touched you, you get pregnant. It is hard to duplicate the true color. Sometimes, yes. All right, let's see. Love the circle gel print. I think this time I'm going to cut five inches. And then we made these at two and a half. So I'm going to do two and a quarter. And we can apply some distress ink to that. See, that makes that little pocket. Two and a quarter. Then I've got this piece left, and so one and three quarters. So if I do one and a half inches, and that can go on here. Maybe we'll use those on the inside. Oh, that goes there. Don't cut that, Linda. Don't cut it. You'll mess up. Pick up the appropriate piece of paper. Ah, don't move on me. I've been thinking about putting a little sticky on my cutting thing so that my paper would stay in place. <laughs> All right, let's get some distress ink. Kim, you were behind. In Spain, some dragonflies are extremely large and prick. Oh my! I would squeal and run away from dragonflies when I was little. I was scared of them, but love them now. That's funny, Julie. It's funny how we grow up. Of course, I was a tomboy. I played with my brothers outside, and you know, we would go find toads and frogs and turtles and snakes and uh, bugs and. I was telling Henry last night, you know, we would have jars and we would go out in the summertime, like right now, summertime, and catch fireflies. And it was always a competition to see who could catch the most fireflies. And we'd keep them in a jar overnight and then let them go the next day. They were probably like, what is going on? Why am I trapped? <laughs> people wonder what goes through the minds of critters ah how funny uh, Robin says when I was little my grandfather told me if a dragonfly landed on your fishing pole tip it was good luck and you would catch a fish what really that means Robin is that you were very still and not talking therefore the butterfly or the dragonfly thought it was just a branch and took a little rest so that means you were being a good fisher person <laughs> jars and fly firefly catching fields lit up with them exactly sam you would make jewelry out of firefighters and feel bad you yeah <laughs> no you would squish them didn't you jeanette <laughs> You feel a little bad about that now? <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's 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 see here. I think let's do shabby stitches. Don't you think? Let's do shabby stitches on these pieces. So we're going to stamp on all of those. And then we'll glue it together. So I've got one of the shabby stitches here. So we're going to make a whole complicated page. We've got pockets. We've already kind of decorated the inside a little bit. We'll make some journal cards. I need to dig through my little bin of fussy cut elements. I've decided that sometimes for me, especially if I'm doing eclectic, if I go ahead and 
find images that I want to use, whether they be out of old books or their calico collage images or rubber stamped images. And I'll go ahead and make a few elements and put them into my little basket. I can dig around and see what can I pick that kind of inspires me at the moment. So I'm going to show you all my little basket here in just a moment. When I go to embellish, these little pieces. Okay, I just saw the glue. There it is. So this is going to be a little tuck spot or pocket. Maybe we can find a butterfly image. And then this is going to go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down so it'll be drying. That way when we go to make our journal cards, we can stick them right into the pockets. And I'm using a Lean's Tacky Glue. I just put a little thin bead. And then press it into place. Now if you need a bigger pocket, I think I've showed y'all where you can attach pieces and make tabs for your little pockets to rest on. Yeah, I bet everybody's getting weary of being cautious. It's, it's so bad. All right, so let's do the other side. So I'll glue this one. Ooh, I got some words in my thing. That might work. Some little words. I think we're going to need the paper cutter in a moment to cut some paper. All right, so there's our little pockets on this side. And I think what I want to do is put this, even though we stamp down there, we'll put it down here on this side. Maybe. I hate to cover up any more of that gel print, so I'm going to put it in here, I think. Or I may set it aside, so let me, we'll contemplate that. And then we'll dig around in my little bin and see how we want to decorate it. I won't glue them down yet, I'll just set them here so we can decide. Do we like that? That make it good to have a little bit of some more tuck spot. Oh, thank you, Constance, for your donation. Thank you, Lori. And Stealthy. Oh, good. I'm glad it's better. Glad it's better in Germany. All right, so there's some little elements. All right, here's my here's my bin of stuffs. So here's even where a page that I've been working on. So using a mop-up page, stamping around the edges. I happened to spray something, and so it made these automatic voids, and I rubber stamped around them. And then I've put a gel print on the other side, and there's going to be a pocket here. I even reinforced the edges, and I've got a pocket here. I just haven't finished it yet. I was just working on it. This has flowers in it. Here's some butterflies. What else do we have in here? Some old greeting cards that belong to my grandparents. I think I might do something where, I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. I've got these old letters that I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with them. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to do. I'm going to alter paper clip. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll take this off. Set it right 
here for a moment. I've got gel print scraps. I have book page scraps. I just, like I said, just grab things. Oh, well, that might be good for just a little piece of ephemera to stick somewhere. We have this little fairy girl. Maybe even this bird piece. I like digging through stuff like this. It might inspire me differently. We've got a butterfly card, so that'll be a little eclectic. Um, this is some... I don't know what that is. Here's another butterfly card. There's a little word search. Don't forget to have fun. Here's another butterfly card. I'm on a roll finding butterfly cards, y'all. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, I've got some butterfly stickers. I don't know that those would go, though. Ah, here we go. Here's some other little elements that maybe we can use. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's see what we can put together. I've got a little piece of cardstock here. So I just grabbed a whole bunch of things, okay? So what if we were to put this guy down here? Oh, and I have this little piece of sticker. That might look pretty over there. Maybe we can put these and we'll make another card. And then on this side, I've got a word. Let's see. Be bold. And maybe we can find a bold little butterfly. That one would be pretty, wouldn't it? Like that? Y'all following me there? I think I like that. Alright, so I'm going to glue this down. That way I can move on and I don't have to worry about losing, losing stuff. The cutouts would be good. Yeah, I've been sending the cutouts of the, um, if I remember, and Henry remembers to collect them for me. Like the butterfly, repeating butterfly stencil, I try to send the cutout pieces so you can make different elements with those. Okay, I like that. So lots of elements here on this page. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the middle. And it just all starts to come together, doesn't it? When you start putting things down. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you all for being here and hanging out with me. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying seeing me gel print and then make something with gel prints. Let's put this over here. And you can see how you can use color in your journal. You'd like them? Yep, yeah, I'll put them in there. I put them in there. I do that with the dragonfly and the, what's the other one? The hummingbird. Oh, the oak leaves and the maple leaves. I try to send some of those. Come on, don't slide on me. Don't slide on me. Don't slide on me, please. <laughs> I'm silly, I know. All right, so I've got this could be a card in the background. And... I've got this little butterfly guy we could put over here. So let's make a couple of cards. I've got 
some cardstock here. And I think what I want. Ah, uh, thank you, Jennifer, for your donation. Thank you so very much. Do I want it to be four inches wide? How about three and a quarter? And then we'll make it five and three quarters. So three, three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I will make a four by six card. So we'll do four by six. So we'll use that as a journal card. Thank you so much, Crafty Blind Girl, for your donation. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, Constance, uh, Jennifer Smith, Jennifer Edmondson, Lori, Sherry, Joy, Janice, Junk Journal Joy, Angelica, Sue, Kim, and Jeanette for your donation. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, cool! Gotcha! Alright, so I've got this little piece. What can I do with it? We'll make a card that way. Maybe we'll make a card this way. How wide is this? Seven. So if I do three and a half. And maybe we'll cut this to be three and a quarter. I'm trying to use it all. That could go up there. So we would get this on this side and we would have this on this side what do you think nice layers in there well, let's finish decorating these two guys these guys so I'm gonna put some distress inks on those how are we doing everybody traveler's notebook is yours Angelica you don't even care what it looks like. You just want it. <laughs> oh, dear. I have these cards um, or pieces of cardstock in my stash from... Y'all aren't going to believe this. You know how old this piece of paper is? This piece of paper is 20 years old. I went to Ohio for art continuum in the year 2000 and there's a place up there that is a paper warehouse that sells to the public called halos and i went there three or four times in the week that i stayed in ohio and kept buying paper because they kept putting out uh, new bundles of things because we kept buying them out and I've had this paper for 20 years and I found it the other day because it's an odd size. I have this whole stack of paper that I purchased. And they're just odd sizes, different colors, and I've just started to use them. I hoard all kinds of stuff in here. Alright, so let's um let's do the shabby stitches around the edge of that. So we'll do it on that one and this one. Well, you just want it, Angelica. Okay. <laughs> Welcome for stopping in, Beverly. We appreciate you stopping by. Me and Hercules. I had to go buy dog food this week. So thank you all for your donations. <laughs> dog food's expensive. I may start feeding them human food probably better for them all right so that's going to go on here I don't know that I'm going to need a lot of decoration with that I like the two layers oh not this piece I want this piece <laughs> okay so now this is going to go on here and that's going to go on here. So let's, let's go ahead and glue those together. Put down the glue again.
from 1989. I have a lot of stuff from the 90s. I, that's just one thing that I could say without a doubt. I know that this one is 20 years old. And we've lived in our house for 20 years. Alrighty. Gluing it down. Gluing it down. I think we need a little sentiment on here. I have a... That's too big. Don't forget to have fun. That might be kind of cute. We need another butterfly on top of there. So... Oh, that's what I should do. Is this one too? That might be good. I've got this one. If that would be better. Sometimes I have to look up at the camera and see which is better. Her Hercules is a luxury dog. Yes, he is. Yeah, I think I like this one better. It pops. And I think we need some curly swirlies. Curly swirly. Maybe uh, right down here in the corner. Yeah. I like it. Let's glue this down. Yay, junk bugs for you, Giovanna. I could glue some cheesecloth on here, but I really like being able to see the gel print. All right, so that's already glued together. Let's put a saying on here, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get my box of sayings. Here they are. How about... Don't forget to fly. And we'll put some distress ink on this. And to make it pop, maybe we'll put a little piece of that on there. Right behind that. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down in the corner and then I'll trim it with my scissors. You like the swirly? That's the curly swirlies. There's a set of four little curly swirly. They're all about the same size. But they're all different patterns. Here's a, another one of the patterns. And, ah. Heroes. Another so there's the four different little patterns. All right, so I glued that down. And now I'm going to trim it with my scissors. Okay. And then we'll go across this way. So just using up the scraps that I had laying here. And then we'll put that down here in the corner. You want the curly swirly set too? <laughs> you have to have it in stages. I understand. You got to just budget out, make plans, don't overspend, you know, like on food or anything. <laughs> make money out of these heartbreaking situations. Oh, that's terrible. You feed the birds and make them your pet. All right. Do you like it? I like it. Yeah, it'll really, it will really stand out on a card because if you wanted to just outline that, you could. You can, you know, use masking tape on the others and just get one. Yeah, dogs are a big commitment. That's for sure. 
They're a lifelong commitment. I love my little doggies. This morning, Oreo would not eat his food until I held him and played with him. And then Henry had to pet him. And then he was ready to eat. You like it? Do you like the colorful layers there? All right, so let's make some cards to go on this side. I still have a piece of this left. I have this guy. And what else do I have here? Oh, I have... I have these two pieces. They're different, but good enough. And I still have this piece, so let's cut it down. Yeah, I guess you get to see that gel print. All right, so we've got three. All right, so I'm going to make a three-inch strip. So I'm looking at this, and that'll be mostly here. So if I go like this, and I think what I want to do, I'm going to cut this where it's kind of framing one of these butterflies and I may do this backwards let's see yes that's better okay now we got it now we're cooking with gas all right so these two cards we're gonna do something on these let's see I've got a different stamp I'd like to use. Oh, I'll get a different shabby stitches. So they'll be similar, but they'll look a little different because of the stitches. Yes, the dogs have the humans trained for sure. Exactly. Yeah, Oreo and Hercules have Henry, you and me and Henry trained. Exactly, they do. That's the purpose of having a pet. <laughs> yeah, you you have your blue jay train, but your husband says no, it has you trained. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, that's gonna go there. That's gonna go up here. I like it. kind of put it somewhat in the center oh I was gonna do shabby stitches we'll do a different one since I already glued it down I'll do this one it's got multiple stitches so I did an oopsie I didn't mean to glue that down yet I wanted to stamp on it first but I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp And I'm doing it wonky on purpose because I want the stitches to kind of be seen. Like that. You see? I'll go ahead and glue this down. Critters have us trained, that is for sure. Getting ready for work, Julie. Good. Wonky is cool, Lori. Thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure my ink pad doesn't dry out. Okay, so we've got a little bit up there. I may do it one more time. There. It looks like I really went over that corner. So we got those two. 
Well, that might look kind of cute right there. Just putting that big old blossom there. What else do we have? <laughs> Just breathe. That might be good. I mean, it doesn't need a whole lot. Maybe we'll do this offset because it's not big enough to mat it, but it can go behind it. So let's put some distress inks on that little piece and glue it down. What do you got to do to get on his list? <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Yeah, they own our hearts, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to glue. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the back of this so that I can line it up and get that offset just a little bit. And then we'll do glue on the whole thing. Okay. So if you're talking about my YouTube donators membership on my website, you're a member of that. I, I, I think I added you the other day. I was noticing you weren't on there. So yeah, those of you that are donating, if I haven't already added you to the YouTube donator membership on my website, please go over to lindaisrael.com and create an account and say, Hey, Linda, you haven't added me yet, and I'll get you added. You work at a pet resort and love all the dogs and cats that come in. Oh, I bet, Jennifer. I bet it's amazing. You're four minutes behind again, Kim. <laughs> she might get there by the time I say that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lori. So, Lori says, my experience in card making really shows uh, when... I do things like that. Well, you know, it's what I did for years and years and years. I have tons, tons of videos showing y'all different ways to make journal cards. I hope you go back and view them. All right, so let's decorate on here. Maybe we need something at the top and on top of here. That's kind of pretty with that butterfly. I've got this little label. I hate to cover up the gel print too much though. What else do I have here? This would be a colorful card to stick in the pocket. Here's a little tag I made that could go right there. No, nope, that's too much. Maybe this little one? That's kind of pretty. I'm just trying to keep with the butterfly theme because we have the butterflies on here. And I have two of these. Maybe we can uh, stamp behind those. I'm liking it. I hope you like it. Maybe this right here. So we kind of have little layers. Okay, why are you acting like that? Okay. I think I like that. Oh, and I'm going to come back to this piece. Let's do something with this piece too. All right, we need something behind the butterflies to make those stand out. Yeah, now you can see the pretty gel print. Agreed. I've got this little guy. We could put him right there. I was getting ready to put the wrong thing inside my little pocket. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. So I'm going to glue this down where it's just attached on the edges. Thanks, Sherry. While I'm thinking about this, I think I have a scrap of this teal, 
and that would bring the top to the bottom by putting a little square of teal or maybe even a punched shape behind that. I have this piece so you know if this was a little framed piece right there that would stick out. I've also got this punch. Let me see if it's right here. Well, I have a heart. That would be different. Ah, here's the one I want. I think I want this shape. But now I'm wanting the heart. I'm going to do the heart. I've changed my mind. It's my prerogative. I need to get a big butterfly punch like this. I'm just going to come in here. And that would go here. Yes. That would go over there. But we're not done yet. So we're going to let that stew for a moment. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Sam. Sam says, Linda has great older vitties. When you get lost, go back and watch them. I, Y'all may laugh at this, but sometimes I'll even watch my own videos. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that project. Okay, let me, let me just put it on here. I'll watch it for a minute. Okay, so that'll go there. This will go here. I want to put something in this and I want to do these. So we're going to do this first. So I'm going to slide, slide it on over. So we've got these two pieces. I, you know, I use this stamp a lot, but it's kind of a go to. But I changed my mind. We're going to do the beach rose. I'm going to ink it up. And try to put it as much in the center as I can and I'll take some of the leaves on the edge and fill so it has a pattern all the way around let's do that again but wait there's more <laughs> huh. yeah there's some great gems on those old videos Something is ticking behind me. I'm trying to figure out what it is. I'm like, this is weird. I keep hearing this tick, 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 tick. I'm losing my mind. All right, so we got those two pieces. Let's put some Distress Ink on there. All right, we're almost done with this journal page, y'all. Did y'all like it? Oh, I missed it, Kim. <laughs> you were lagging, Kim. Yay, thank you. <laughs> All right, I like that. So we'll put this guy up here. But I think I need one more layer behind there. And I'm going to move this card out of the way so I can do it. Do it, do it one time. Now I've got the postscript collage. And now when I put this down, that fits better. I like that. Okay. Still see the gel print, but we need some more embellishment. She was only teasing. Okay, I have, I probably shouldn't say it, but I have some funny drama on my webpage. And the message I got from somebody was them screaming at me in all capital letters. And I showed my husband, and he's like, I think they're drunk. <laughs> I said, well, you might be right. But they may also just be very passionate about their subject. And so I'm trying not to go into the content of the subject because it's 
that's just drama. But so I replied to their message very calmly. I say I can. I should be very, you know, happy, upbeat, uh, never negative. And I said, if that's what you want to do, let me know. And about an hour later, I got a message from this person's daughter apologizing for this lady that was going off on my Facebook page because she was intoxicated. <laughs> So that was my drama. Did you know we were talking about lightning bugs earlier? Lightning bugs, when there's a group of them, you know, sometimes you call uh, a herd of cattle, uh, you, you have names for groupings, a flock of birds type of thing. Well, a grouping of fireflies is called a sparkle. So I thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If, if you want to win a junk box, you can get them just by showing up. You can get them from making donations. You get them playing the in-chat games. And then when I have a raffle. <laughs> tick, 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 kaboom. Exactly, Lori. Uh, Lori says, it's good you haven't been watching James Bond movies. Tick, tick, tick. Bluey, you love my paper bag journal video. Thank you, Julie. It's a craft bomb run for your life. <laughs> it might be. It might be. All right, so we're gonna put that right here, and I've got this one. We're gonna put over here, and we've got this one, and this one. But I, I have plans for this. We're gonna use this guy. All right, so I've got this little piece here, and I think what I'm going to do is kind of judge where the center is a little bit and fold. I'm hoping that this is going to work. I can't remember if that's too wide. I have to see if this is too wide. That's too wide. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to fold in. This covers up my boo-boo. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to fold this way. Creative folding. That's what we're doing. Creative folding of paper. All right, so then I'm going to take this piece up here and fold it down. I'll take this piece and fold it down. Try to match that top corner. Then I'm going to fold this down a little bit. You see what I'm making without an envelope template? All right, so this is going to come up here. So I want it to be not too tall. Now, I should be able to put this. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Okay. I'm just eyeballing it, y'all. I'm giving it the eye. <laughs> yeah, so this is what we do at 1030 at night. We Google stuff about fireflies. Oh, how cool, Lori. That's awesome. Have fun with those patriotic songs. <laughs> did did uh, Julie get behind? You love the sparkle? Oh, and did you know that earthworms, earthworms, you know, crawly bugs, um, they are below ground, but they'll come to the surface if they detect that a mole is approaching. So they know the vibrations in the ground and they will come up out of the dirt in order to save their life from the mole. All right. 
How many of y'all been outside after it has rained and seen a bunch of earthworms on the pavement and wondered why are they there? Oh, here we go. <laughs> so, it's a circle. Um, earthworms will be found on your pavement because the rain pattering on the ground makes them think that they are being attacked by moles. So they'll leave the earth and come to the surface. And I don't know if the rain just beats them to death and they're in a state of shock because they think something is coming. So they're paralyzed and then they drown and that's why they die. Yeah, that's what I think. They're, they're not drowning. They come up because they're thinking that the pitter-patter on the ground is vibrations, that there's a mole coming. So they come up to the surface, and then once they get to the surface, I think they're paralyzed, and they die. That's kind of sad. All right, so I've made this little envelope. I'm going to use my bone folder and really score so it'll be flat. Yeah, collect them for fishing. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> yeah, they're all over the place because they're they're escaping the sound or vibration thinking it's a predator coming to eat them. Interesting, huh? That's something else I googled while sitting on the actually I googled while I was walking. I'll do voice to text on the Google and I'll say, okay, Google, I'll say, why are earth, why do earthworms leave the soil is kind of what I put. And that's when it said about moles. And I said, so why do I find earthworms after it rained? And then it said, because their vibrations are sensitive, they come up thinking it is a mole. And then it kind of just stops there. And I think then they're paralyzed or they're beat to death by the rain and they die. Yeah, it's a tough life. Exactly. They're on a, the moles are getting her on a hook. Well, in my garden, <laughs> they, uh, they uh, love to give me some good soil. <laughs> so you learn something new, right? <laughs> but yeah, so I'll, I'll do, okay, Google, what is and how is and what do we do? It's kind of a fun way to learn things. All right, so I've got this little envelope. We're going to put it here under that little flap but I think I want to stamp on here so let's get this butterfly stamp and we'll stamp it like that and I think I'll open up this flap a little bit I'm going to do here it is I'm going to use the flowering branch to stamp around Yeah, the robins can feel them in the ground. And I think that's why the robins kind of hop across the ground, hoping that they'll be able to convince a earthworm to surface. And then I'll just slide this like that. So now we've created additional writing space. All right, everybody, what do y'all think? I think we're about done. We're going to do the last raffle, and we'll do a flip through of the journals. The early worm doesn't get the worm. The early bird doesn't get the worm. <laughs> the worm's out on the side. We come right out after it rains to watch where you walk. Yep. 
Yeah, how cool. We've got toads in our yard. And I learned that toads will burrow into the ground. They'll dive, dive, dive down into the ground uh, 50 centimeters. Henry said that's about a foot. Yeah, bam, they're up quickly. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so do you like the page that I made? repeating using the printed copy of the original and then these are just from different kits of Norella's uh, this is a butterfly kit she has a, a butterfly ephemera kit but if you type butterfly in on her website you can find all kinds of kits the words are from Norella shabby stitches the flowering branch I like it Okay, only one raffle. All right, well, I'll show you all the journals, and then you can uh, enter the raffle when we get there. And we'll pick one winner today. If you want a chance to win one of these journals, just make a donation. And then just the chamomile, since, you know, it's a flower. Of course, I didn't really show the full page. You like it? It's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Norella. I used a bunch of different kits from you today, different elements. I think she now has a, a, a whole but two butterfly ephemera packs because there's one that has different sizes of these kind of butterflies. And then there's one that has like these journal cards and this kind of journal uh, little element, this little element in it. Um, and there's a couple others that I like. Yeah, different types of frogs, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. See, if you don't get inspiration about lives, you can also be educated about bugs and worms. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. <sighs> You're pretty much over yourself now, Robin. You love the smell of chamomile. It's a good smell. It's a relaxing smell. All right. So, we're going to give away this little folio now. I'm letting those that are in lagging. Thank you, Crafty Blind Girl. So if you haven't already, join the raffle. I just want to sit here and play. Play, play, play. I need to go for a walk. I like how the page turned out. It's so colorful. I'm going to have to make a journal to keep for myself, y'all. Maybe this will go in that, because I like it. Okay. I see a boss fight going on, and an FFA. Lots of chamomile. This is the prize that we're going to give away. It's got these little tags and little journal cards. It may be too wide to fit in a journal. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's five inches wide. So if you made a belly band that went across the page, you could slip it in under the belly band. Or if you had a pocket that went this way, you could put it in. Because it's a little wide. Or you could do this with it as well. Yeah, you need to see if you have all the butterflies. You could put it over the edge of a journal page. And then that way you flip to it. You have this piece. Okay. Ideas. I'm waiting on the boss fight to pass. Let it pass. All right. Bunch of you got 16 junk bucks. Congratulations. All right. The winner of the folio. Did, did you put the gel print? Yes, this is in the shop, Julie. That gel print, that's in the shop, as well as this one. And you get this one. Okay, you get those three. Those are in the shop. Thanks, Sam. Okay, I think I've got it now. Giveaway. The winner is... Jennifer Edmondson. Now you have two prizes that I'll be sending out to you. Congratulations, Jennifer. You won the little folio. Yay. I think you messaged me on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to reset. We're going to 
click yes. We're going to go up here. I'm going to go. The next raffle is only for those who donated. All right, so I'm going to open this up. The following people have donated. Crafty Blind Girl, Jennifer Smith, Constance or Connie, Jennifer Edmondson, Lori Merchant, Sherry Deskins, Joy Trevino, Janice Brammer, Junk Journal Joy, Angelica Menzel, Zoo, and Kim, Jeanette, and Crafty Blind Girl because she is a subscriber on my Patreon. You're very welcome, Jennifer. Yay, you're very welcome. Yeah, I think, yay, Jennifer, I think you'll like it. I think you'll have fun with it. Use it, use it in your projects. Okay, so we've started the last raffle for those of you who have donated, and I've got these two traveler's notebooks that I made. This one is from Cynthia Dossett. Set this over here. And so I will show you what hers looks like. I think that's right. I think it's Cynthia. Yeah. So she's used some, maybe a cereal box for the cover. Oh, wait. It was an envelope that she's attached cardstock to. So this is cardstock she sewed onto an envelope. Here's the bottom portion of the envelope here. And then she, in the pockets, she has a couple of little cards that she's put together. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting me. So I just thought I'd flip through it really fast. Is anybody interested in seeing the wedding journal? Those of you that donated. This is using my stencil in the background. I like how she's layered this little element on here. She's put little tabs on some of the pages. Stitching. It's just kind of cool because she's added two pieces of paper here and then stitched that. Kind of made it like a Franken page. Thinking about trying the gel prints, Janice? It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Lots of goodies. She's got a little charm here in the middle. Lots of fun. So this is the one that Cynthia made. She can put some trim and some lace. Another little journal card. Angelica, mushrooms. You love it? Yeah. Yes, Robin says, the wedding journal is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? I love it. Some of Calico Collage images. So this is the, uh, is it Tie the Knot, Norella? I've already forgotten. I may have used that from the actual kit. Or I may have had a, a stamp. I think it's a stamp. Use some lace here. Attach some ribbon. Sewed around the images. Made a little pocket here with some lace in it. A little vellum. Oh, Julie, thank you. It's not that hard to sew on paper. This is not a stamp that I have in my shop. This is way before I did beeline designs. It's a little piece of... Uh, Lavender. Now you can see it, Lori says. Oh, trying to see if I miss anything. Don't ask me if I want to see the wedding journal. <laughs> uh, don't ask Angelica. You could give it to someone else, Angelica. It would be a gift. This is a napkin that's been painted over. A little altered paper clip. Just putting a scrap of paper on there. Love Story is the name of the kit. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Love Story. This is wallpaper, cardstock, and then I backed it with another piece of paper. Closing her eyes, Angelica says. <laughs> uh, just look at the chat, Angelica. Don't look at the screen. 
So that's the wedding journal. And then I have two traveler's notebooks. They're pretty much the same. It's a cover. I can't remember, 48 pages total on the inside. And I forgot, this is flocked paper. It's fuzzy. You're scared to try it, Julie? Why? Just do it. Just take a piece of paper and stick it in there. It's funny because when I predominantly was sewing on fabric, if my machine was acting all stupid and I needed to adjust the tensions, I would use a piece of paper to sew to see what my tension looks like. All right, so here's one of the traveler's notebooks. The cover flips out. I use scrapbook paper. I use mop-up papers, notebook paper, graph paper, scrapbook paper. This is lined linen paper, coloring book page. This is Italian paper, uh, no, another graph paper, and then it just repeats. And then this is pretty much the same. All right, so I'm going to pick the winner. Tell me which journal you want, and then we're going to get out of here. Don't be afraid to sew with your sewing machine. Just do it. It's not going to hurt anything. Just do it on some scraps until you get used to it. You may have to make some changes on your tension because if you're doing really thin paper, the tension may not stitch correctly. This was with my old sewing machine and it didn't always stitch properly. So it's got a little bit of a pull, but it works. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Norella. I hope you're well. Hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Again, we'll be back Monday. We'll be working on the <coughs> Americana kit. Uh, ephemera kit. It's an Amer Americana lines as, two, as well, Norella. I'm doing all of Amer her uh, stuffs. I got a couple of them printed. She has these words. And then here's some of the ephemera. That's part of her patriotic. I haven't printed the pages yet. I've been looking at and trying to decide. And then I, here's what I want to show y'all. Um, this is Norella's one of her words. Normally, this page right here would go this way if I rotate it and would fill the whole page. But I printed two so I could have a little bit smaller words. I did the same thing here, same thing here, just print it smaller. These are some of my journal cards. Again, that would be one full page, but I printed two. And here's another, and another. Pictures from my garden. And then those are some more labels by Norella. So yeah, the Americana kits is what I'll be doing. Yes, yeah, three different items, words, ephemera crit, and journal pages. I'll be using all three of those. I'll also be using some of my gel prints that are a digital download in my shop. Yeah, so I'll be doing that Monday. All right, so let's pick the winner. Norella, did you get in? Since you're a donator on my uh, Patreon. I can't get the word out. Norella, get in on the raffle. Oh, you got some, an Epson Echo Print or Eco Print. Awesome, Lori. Have fun. Jennifer's like, I need a printer now. I personally like the HP Instant Ink program. So if you're going to buy a printer, look into it. I do over or right at 300 prints a month, full color prints like this. And it costs me $9.99 for all 300 of those. I think it's pretty reasonable. Yeah, Norella says that's the main reason I sell the JPG format instead of PDF. You can print them in different sizes using your computer. No tech required. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Norella. Thank you, Sandra. Make sure you get in on the raffle. We're getting ready to do it. And Jennifer Edmonds says instant ink is the best. It, it is. I really like it. What Jennifer says? So I have an HP printer. 
for $9.99 for the Instant Ink program. They send me all the cartridges I need at no additional fee. Some months I'll go through three cartridges. Those are normally 40 something a piece. Ink for printer. HP printer. Link for printer. I can get it to you, Jennifer. It's an HP that I use. I'll send it to you. Because I guess, I think I, you... Uh, didn't you win something earlier? I know that Jennifer Edmondson did, but I think I owe you an email. So I'll send it to you. And you can get them off of Amazon, the printer, and they'll ship it to you. Alright, sorry, I stalled. Let's pick the winner. Let's see if, if you have any more questions, hurry up. Get them in now. If not... We'll get it to him on Monday. All right, so let's go giveaway. And the winner of the journal is Kim Poulton. Congratulations, Kim. You won. Which journal would you like? You want Cynthia's journal, the wedding journal, one of the Trevor's notebooks. Yeah, Inkjet is good for crafting. Exactly, Sue. You are spoiled, Kim. You have the Instant Ink program too, Sherry. You've had it for a while and had upgraded to 300 months. Saved a lot. Exactly, Sherry. Alright, I'm waiting. The blue one. So, this one? The peacock one, Kim? Or this one, because it's blue. The bird or the peacock? You have the 71 series? I have an Epson photo. Hello, Carrie. We're about to get off here now. <laughs> photo Envy is what I have. She said blue one, but, you know, she may be the blue bird or the peacock. I'm waiting. So I'm going to get these out of the way. H H H S N has good deals on printers, Crafty Blind Girl says. They put them on payments too, even. Okay. I think this is sorry silk. It's really pretty. I need some of that. All right, Kim. Yeah, Kim, a winner so soon. I don't know which. She said blue one, so. Yes, please. Okay, so I think she wants. She didn't say, say peacock or bird. <laughs> yes, please. Those, I had, those were either or question. <laughs> Uh, you're changing rooms in your house? Okay, the peacock one. Gotcha. Kim gets the peacock one. Got it. Yay! I see it in the chat now. <gasps> peacock, she's yelling at me. Thank you, Kim. Woo -woo. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, crack me up. Y'all, thanks so much for being here. Monday, we'll be back doing the patriotic journal kits from Norella to make a junk journal. Uh, we'll make some different elements and whatnot. Gotcha! <laughs> and uh, next week we'll do some gel printing. Probably the next week I will be working on the uh, what is it? She's got a new bird kit. Norella does. I think I want to do that. Darn the lag. Exactly. Well, thank you all for joining me today. I'm going to get off here, go for a walk. I need my steps. I'm a little behind on those. Wash my hands, clean up a little bit. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for showing up and encouraging words and hanging out with me, giving me a moment to laugh and whatnot. Y'all have an amazing day, an amazing weekend. See you on Monday. I'm going to get off here. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>